Hi, in this video we're gonna talk about how we can use use callback in React. Let's see on a simple example how use callback works. Let's say you have a simple hello function and when rendering of your component starts we are calling the use callback hook and this hook is comparing the previous instance of your function and it's checking if the properties have been changed. If they are changed it's creating new function instance and it's saving it cache for later comparison. And afterwards, it just returns that new instance back to the callback. And then next time when your component gets re-rendered, again, we are calling the use callback hook, which again compares the dependencies and if they are changed. If they are not, it's returning the same function instance from the previous iteration. And now let's see how we can implement it and why it's useful. Code with Sloba. Hello and welcome back. Here we have a very simple component which we built in previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest you to go and watch that one first. In that one, I covered how we can use React Memo to stop unnecessary re-rendering of components. So what we did there is we built two input components here, input elements actually, and we created this hello component and we are passing only the first name to this hello component. And inside of our hello component, we are just const logging when we re-render this component. And also we are just returning this simple string hello and then the first name. And then we are using this memo function to memoize this component. And only if the first name or actually the name property changes, then we update our hello component. If the last name changes, we are not re-rendering. So let's try that. So if we type in Bob, you see that we get here console logs. But if you try to enter the last name, there is no re-rendering here happens. So let's say that we want to extract this string concatenation inside of a function, which is outside of this component. So for example, here in the app.js file. So let's create a new function here and let's create this string and pass this function to a hello component. The reason could be that we want to use this function in multiple files. So let's name this function as hello f for first name. And then what we can do is we can just return a new string here. And inside of this string, we just say hello and we use our first name variable to make it dynamic on what we input, right? like so. And now we can use this function and we can pass it instead of the name here. And let's update the property to hello f name as well. And now we can update the hello to instead of the name, we are now returning the function and we can remove this whole string because we're going to execute that like so. Now let's save and let me refresh. So if I start typing the first name here, you can see that string formatting works as expected and we are getting here the re-rendering logs. But if I start typing on the last name, you can notice now that we are also getting this component re-rendered. But why is that happening? So if you go over to app.js file here, you can see that the problem is in this function which we are passing back as a property. So what memo function does, it compares the properties from last re-rendering and it checks if it's the same value and the same reference or actually same instance of the same function. If it isn't, it re-renders the component. On every single re-rendering, this function is getting creating new instance of it. So it means that this hello component is getting re-rendered. So what we need to do is we need to pass in always the same instance of this component unless this first name gets changed. So this is where use callback becomes handy. So let's import use callback here. And let's, instead of creating just this plain function, let's use use callback hook. So this hook receives two arguments. The first one is the function which you want to memoize or cache. And the second argument is the list of the dependencies. So what it means is that this function or recreating new instance of this function is dependent on the list of the dependencies that you provide here. So for us, whenever first name is changed, we want to create a new instance of this function. And now what we can do is 
saved our file and let me refresh let me clear the console okay if we start typing the first name still we're getting the rendering and we're also getting this correct string format output but if we start typing the last name you can see that this time our component is not getting re-rendered and that's because we are passing the same function instance to this hello component if first name has been changed and here we are only changing the last name just one note use callback is not executing our function it's just saving its instance but we are executing this function here so this is the main difference between the use callback and use memo which executes your function and it's caching the results well that's all for this react video and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe code with sloba thank you for watching the entire video to see more react tutorials click here